There we go. I don't know why it was being, it was being rude to me, but... Uh, welcome back, everyone. I'm so excited to play more Persona. Uh, when last we left off, we uh, had secured a route to the treasure in the Sign Eternus Palace. Hair before we set the calling. So, let's do this. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I brought it my throat this morning. So, we, uh, oh, we can, I think I'm gonna hang out with the Kemi and just see who else is around. Okay. My plan is to get the Kemi here. Because then we can get a super fancy schmancy and get the Kemi So, I think we do that. Spoken bones, not a surgeon. I don't know if fall is the season for sports, but consider your age and don't overexert yourself. Well, I guess a kid like you doesn't have much to worry about there. You came because you saw my messages, right? There's no need for a clinical trial. You came at the perfect time. Come in. Hey. Does it matter who likes someone first? What are you talking about? There's a boy I like, but my friend told me that I have to let her have him because she liked him first. Oh, that's not true. Really? Then why did she say that? Likely because she's jealous of you. Just be careful because it might result in pandemonium. And... Demonium? That girl's gotten a lot better. So much so, in fact, that now she's gossiping. She even comes in on days she doesn't have to. It appears she's nearly fully recovered. Nice. Which reminds me, the new medicine will be completed soon. Your data has been extremely helpful due to your generic body type and bland health history. <laughs> God, thank God you're a protagonist. You've been a splendid guinea pig. I mean, participant. So, thanks again. By the way, how have I been doing? Have I been helpful? For your escapades with the Phantom Thieves, I mean. Is that a joke? Come on. You and I both know that you were lying about needing to prepare for the entrance exams. I visited Oyamata in jail. A swing of fortunes like that could have only come at the hands of the Phantom Thieves. And to have it happen when it did, isn't the only logical conclusion to think that it's you? I don't care. The point is that without you, I wouldn't have been able to complete my mission. I would have never finished the new medicine while I was being deceived by Oyamata. And I would have never met any of the townspeople. I bet the Phantom Thieves save people in need, just like doctors do, huh? So, I'll go out on a limb for you. I'll have even more powerful medicine ready for you. I trust that you'll use them appropriately. Yeah! I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Blood oath. Thy blood bond oath. shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of death, granting thee infinite power. Resuscitation. All right. All right. I can now fuse Alice. I'm not gonna give them to you for free, though. So you better make some money in the name of justice. 
<laughs> now go. Take care. Okay. Ah, you're back. Hey, hey. Okay, so I think step one is go buy a bunch of cool good medicine. <sighs> Please head to the exam room. Okay, which one? I developed a new medicine that treats a very unique symptom. It's quite effective. All fallen allies. Oh my god, that's amazing. Well, I mean, we'll, we'll get one of those as our emergency. Uh, we'll get one of these. And then do we... Does she sell, like... No, she doesn't sell, like... Expensive Robivadrin, just regular. You want a shot? Why do you have such a serious oh, look on your face? Oh, follow Trist the Dragon. Appreciate it. Time. Why do you have such a serious look on your face? Let's see, Regent Patch Three might. Try not to suffer. Good. Oh, did you choose one? Thanks. Yeah, let's buy one of those. Take care. Let me take a quick look at our team. Persona has been done good. Thank you, thank you for uh, the compliment. I I like this model. I made it in in uh, VTuber Kit, uh, which is free on Itch.io. Um, Persona has been good. I'm I'm really like sort of getting into the rhythm of it. Uh, what is, what does Idaten's belt do? What is your current? Paramasuku. That's pretty good. Life Surge. We can replace that with Regen. Um. Hmm. I don't know, I don't- I feel like I don't use the greed. I don't use presence inside that much. So I'll just put that on me. Just for insurance. It's so good! The music and, like, the- the aesthetic stylings and everything is- are fantastic. Uh, okay. Sun wants to hang out, Fortune wants to hang out. Hang out Sojuro. get Oya up, but I don't think she's going to give me anything I particularly care about. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at our confidants. So if we get... So Oya's devil. She gets us shocking scoop, which lowers the speed at which security level increases. Um... You don't give us anything till five. It's just rare item. Huh. Then what is what does Chihaya give us? Oh, that's not bad. We might work towards that then. Yeah, let's let's see. Um now it's not gonna go up with Chihaya. Do we have a fortune persona? Yeah, I love I love this mod. The main reason I haven't played Persona, a lot of Persona games, I dipped my toes in, 
uh, but like it's because I don't want to play a dude. So when I saw this mod, I was like, well, I'm I guess I'm getting Persona 5 Royal. Alright, I don't have a fortune. Oh, I do have a fortune. I've already had a big drop. Okay, cool. So that'll work. Let's go hang out with Chihaya. Oh, you know what? Oh, shoot, I should've I need to get a new DVD. Um, let's take a look at the bookstore while we're out here. I don't think they'll have anything new, but what do you want? No. Yep. Okay. I'll get it I'll get a DVD tomorrow. What's up, Chihaya? Um... Well, then. Yes. Goodbye. Just gotta go get get some points towards uh What's the next thing? I gotta. I want to hang out with Maruki. Oh no. Because they they. I think last time they said like, oh, you're on a time limit for Maruki. They did the same thing with uh, with Yoshida, the the politician. But I'm not as invested in him. <laughs> this country's been getting dangerous, and peace had been our only redeeming feature. The Phantom Thieves should target somewhere bigger, more global, not this tiny island country. Like. Oh, I don't know. The Casino City of Las Vegas or something. It was like a dream when I went there. <laughs> I might not look it, but I'm good at card games. The four suits of cards all symbolize something. By the way, Mizro, look at this. How about you? Clubs is a club, diamonds is a gem. So what does a spade represent? A shovel. Or I guess a, sp a spear. Too bad. Wait, it's not a spear tip? What? It's not a fucking sword! It's the tip of a spear! I mean, it's a shovel, but it, it's a... Because it's... it's... Because it's digging for diamonds. That's euchre rules. <laughs> Heart was a... is the holy grail... fuck you. Or I guess... no, if this is coming from, like... Uh, tarot cards, then it makes sense that cups became hearts and uh, swords became spades. But I think it's dumb. They say the suits also represent classes of people. The rulers are the holy of the Holy Grail are clergymen. However, there are cards that belong to no class. In other words, they have no suit. The Jokers. Whatever. I'm I'm max knowledge anyway. Oh, I will hydrate. Thank you. Have a sip of my root beer. The only card without a suit is the Joker. Some theories say it originates from the Fool in tarot decks, but no one knows where it really came from. However, both are trump cards that can bring about unexpected effects. How you use them is critical. Yeah. You heard her, Joker. Pretty good name if I do say so myself. I kinda wish I'd given myself a cooler name. We could've called you Panther. <laughs> okay, so I gotta hang out with Marky. But, so I don't forget, I'm going to go to, uh... Shibuya to the DVD store, <laughs> and I'm gonna get a new DVD, and then I will come back and attempt to hang out with Maruki, uh, if he's around. What would you like? Uh, I mean, I'm already persuasive the most, but it's the last DVD, so. Uh, and then we'll check the bookstore here real quick. What can as I long you? as we're here. But, nope. Alright, um... In that case... Alright, so who's... who text me? Shinya. Okay. Now it's just Taru, so we can't hang out with Maruki. 
We can hang out with Shinya, which might be a good use of our time. Where are we with Shinya? I don't remember where our where our status is with Shinya, but I, th I think we're like one or two, so. I got a Phantom Thief strapped this time from the capsule toy machine in the back alley. It costs 500 yen each try, so I can only play once in a while. Aren't you gonna train today? I can teach you a bunch of stuff. Hey! Uh, by the way, have you eaten yet, Rosan? Starving. But the hunger doesn't really bother me when I'm playing. Let's go eat. Really? What? Uh, are you sure? Okay, today's training will be a lecture. If you pay for my meal, I'll let you have the course for free. Yeah, okay. I get my meal and you get your training. So we're both happy. Let's go. Now, stop wasting time and take me someplace to eat. Phew. I'm stuffed. I gotta eat good because I'm fighting a war. Didn't I tell you? I've been having serious battles with kids at school. They attack me in large numbers, so I can't let my guard down. Well... All they did today was throw eraser crumbs into my lunch, though, so I won that round. Am I bullying you? It's a war. I'm on the defensive right now, but I'm looking for a chance to counterattack. I could finish them in a second if I put my mind to it. It's just that... Now's not the right time. Aww. It gets kind of annoying having to watch my back all the time, though. Maybe I can ask the Phantom Thieves to take care of them. Oh, poor grade schooler in the booth next to us. Your food is here, sweetheart. Well, today you lost. So that means you'll just have to try harder next time. Now, eat up and feel better. You're... you're not mad. Of course not. You did your best, and that's all that counts. Now, no more crying. Wrong. What a joke. Once you lose, it's over. That's what my mom told me. My mom's fighting with my school. About how classes are taught, the way teachers treat students, the size of the classes... Since the divorce, my mom's been taking care of me all by herself. She says it's exhausting. She leaves really early to go to work, then she comes home really late to take care of me. It's no wonder she demands so much from the school, you know? But all of my classmates make fun of her and call her a complainer. When I tell them to stop, they call me a mama's boy. That's how the war started. My mom gets made fun of because I'm weak. That's why I gotta get stronger. I really love your mom. If you call me a mama's boy, then I'm not gonna teach you how to play gun about anymore. Oh, uh, before I forget, I need to show you something. Oh. Don't tell anyone else about this, okay? But I'm gonna show you a guaranteed way to win. Nice. Give me the give me the hacks, boy. Warning shot. Nice. All right. I wish I could be a member of the Phantom Thieves and help them defeat the bad guys in the world. Oh, it's kind of late. I guess I should go home. Nice. Kindness is the only stat I don't have maxed, so I will take some kindness points. Later. Thanks for the food. Later. I'm- I'm never gonna get over his noobs jacket. It's so good. Oh. Uh, thanks for that food earlier. I guess that's also kind of training, technically. So, we just talked a bunch about me today. So you gotta tell me more about the Phantom Thieves next time. Maybe we can go eat something again while we're at it? Sure. Really? Uh, thanks, Rosan. Now that I think about it, it's been a while since I went out to eat with anyone but my mom. Okay, 
But let's go get some hamburger steak next time. It's my favorite food. Come to think of it, Mom hasn't made hamburger steak in a while either. But she seems super busy, so not much I can do, I guess. Oh. <laughs> wonder if she's coming home late again tonight. Okay, bye, Russell. Um, I'll see you at the arcade. God, I want a hamburger steak so bad right now. I would kill for hamburger steak. Ah, you're back. Okay. So I think what I'm gonna do is ask Kawakami to do my laundry, because it's Friday. Let's see. We could get up with her though. Get Oya up. So let's let's look at her confidant. Let's see. Let's Kawakami. It's temperance. Next rank with her, we get free time. Oh, that's really powerful. Oh, uh, I think we hang out with her instead of asking her to do our laundry. Because getting free time in other classes is going to be really, really useful. Uh, oh my goodness, I can't believe- I forgot to check. We're going to play the actual game. Screw, screw all the all the palace mini games. We have the actual game to play. Older in years. Older. Wizened won't fit. Elder won't fit. Um. It's not aged. I.e. scholarly. Faster doesn't fit. Hmm. Legit. Scholarly, older in years, and establishing order or worth. Right, so older in years could be, it could be older as a relative, right? Like saying that somebody is your elder, or something like that, or it could be older as a as an absolute, like saying that someone is, in general, older. So we could be looking for an adjective or a noun. Hmm. And then I.E. scholarly. So it's a synonym for scholarly. Or scholarly is an, is an example of this word. Um, hmm. Ooh, this is a tough one. They've only given me three words to work with, and one of them is the is the ultimate clue. This is this is a tough one. If I had more words, I could kind of rule out some letters. Let's see, older would be like, wait, hold on. So, so if we're, if we're talking about like older, like, and then scholarly, so if we're talking about like school, someone who's older would be your, okay, they would be your senior. The senior is a, is a grade, not in Japan. But, 
that someone is your senior. Right, you are their junior. Right, you scholar. There's a lot of consonants left. I mean, what, four vowels for both these words? There's five vowels for the two words. And then establishing order of words. I mean, odds are that this would be a vowel. Ac Can I make academic? I sure can. All right. So we got academic, we got senior, and then establishing order of worth. Uh, ranking? Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Feel that rush. That's the real video game. Establishing order in a list of multiple entries is easy with ranking, no matter the length of the list. By quantifying a relevant factor, the task is simplified. Voting on a complex issue can be complicated, so a method called the board account is sometimes used, where voters rank their selections, which are tallied. All right. Hey, hey! Wow, it's almost like we have a long history in this world of ranked choice voting. Nice. Give me that knowledge point that's going nowhere. Alright. Uh, let's hang out with Kawakami. Oh. Hi. Have you gotten used to city life yet? Wait, you've been here more than six months, huh? Time sure passes more quickly each year. You understood what I told you last time, right? And you still want to request me? Hey. <sighs> Fine. I guess I'll have to talk to you properly about it. Just wait for me there. Jeez. Are you serious? I told you that the story about my sick little sister was a lie. You know you're being used for money. Can you still request me? I want to know more. Huh. What good would that do? really are one strange kid. I'm a mediocre teacher and a mediocre maid, and yet you listen to everything I have to say. You're the complete opposite of me. I don't even properly attend to my students' needs. So... The money is actually... an apology. There was a student named Takase at the school I taught at before Shujin. Takase-kun was considered a problem child, since he had the lowest grades and skipped school a lot. So I was put in charge of guiding him, or rather pushing him to transfer to another school. But when I got to know him, I realized that he wasn't a problem child after all. In fact, he was working several part-time jobs just so he could cover his living expenses. His relatives took him in when his parents died, so he had to make money to support himself. He couldn't attend school every day, but he was motivated to study. That's why I decided to tutor him. After I started working with him, his grades started to improve, slowly but surely. But I was told that it was wrong to only help certain students and not others. Then a strange rumor about him being a juvenile delinquent began to circulate. And on top of that, I got called into the principal's office. He threatened me saying that I'd be dismissed if I continued to tutor Takasa Good. Terrible. Yeah. But you could say the same about me. 
I got scared of losing my job and of having rumors spread about me. So I canceled our upcoming tutoring sessions. Takasa-kun was on his way to one of his part-time jobs when I told him. Out of all days, it was New Year's Eve, and it had been pouring rain all day, and he died in a car crash. He sounded so depressed when I told him that I couldn't tutor him anymore, but then he said that it was no big deal because he had to work anyway, so I wouldn't feel bad. And he had kept my promise to him. It's no one's... Uh, hmm. It was bad luck. Takasekun was exhausted from all the tutoring sessions and working at all his part-time jobs. His guardians blamed me for the accident, saying it was all my fault that he was so tired. They said they were going to sue me and take the issue to the media and the Board of Education. I wouldn't have gotten accused of a crime, but if word had gotten out, the school would have been done for. I wanted to continue teaching, no matter what. So I ended up paying them the apology money so they wouldn't sue me or say anything. Guardians, huh? It was my indecisiveness that backed me into a corner, and I blame myself every day. I know paying them isn't going to bring him back, but it's the only way I can atone for my sins. It seems like his guardians are satisfied with our arrangement, so... Oh, God. Oh, that sucks so hard. That they're just, like, using her as a, as a revenue stream. See? Nothing good ever comes from getting involved with me. I have to keep my distance to avoid hurting others, so I don't meddle in my students' lives. I've been coming here because of a random twist of fate, but we should say goodbye as well. What about our deal? Rokun. You're really not the type to back down, are you? <laughs> I guess we're in this together, now that I told you the whole story, right? Yeah. I'll see what I can do about the other teachers so you get free periods with them, too. I look forward to continuing our relationship. Oh. Yeah. Tiberance. Alrighty, time to clean. I'm gonna put more energy into it than usual today. <laughs> Sorry, my mysterious illness. Oh my, this room is so dusty. I don't know, I wipe this place squeaky clean every visit. Well, I guess it's all for you, Master. I'll work hard to earn my keep. I've told you, Kakami, you don't have to do that around me. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Oh, uh, wow, it's so dusty. Off is already this bad. Maybe we'd be better off tearing this place down than trying to clean it. Well, the shabby, I mean, chicness of this room is truly its charm, so let's keep it as it is. All right, I have to go. Thank you so much. I'll be eagerly awaiting your next request, Master. Uh, please. You do, please. I get having to do it over the phone, but like, you don't have to do this now. Oh, is this Master? Thank you for using our service today. <sighs> that is so soul-draining. I'm just gonna talk normally. No point making sales calls this late anyways. By the way, I've always wanted to ask, but do you live in that cafe right now? There's always this nice curry smell around that place. Do you get to eat that place's curry every day? You want some? Ooh, then I can serve it to you. Imagine if it was cooked by your own maid with lots of love. Okay, that was a joke, but I could really go for some homemade curry right now. <laughs> Again, my mysterious illness. Sorry, I can't seem to shake this cough. I've been so busy lately. But I'll always be ready and waiting for Master to request me. Okay, don't stay up too late. Night. 
See, I, I like that, where, like, she does it over the phone, and she's like, I'm fucking sick of this, I'm gonna drop it. Like, that's, that's a fun dynamic, where she's like, oh, I'm doing the, th uh, fuck it. Alright, uh, let's see. I only have a few books left. Uh... Look at fish ponds. Hmm? Experience the wonder of the great outdoors right in this very city. Hey, hey! Ichigaya, this is a train station, right? But when you look at the photos, it looks like the station's in the fishing pond. This kind of place might not be everyone's cup of tea, but you could have fun on your own. Oh. So, you finished reading Fish Pond Spotter. There are a few fishing ponds in the city, but it seems that Ichigaya is the most famous one. Yay! Fishing pond, fishing pond. Oh, you can go by yourself and try fishing. <gasps> fishing minigame? I bet it'd be nice to just go alone for some relaxing fishing. But why don't you try it sometime? You're damn right I will. Oh, we're almost at the station. I'd say that was efficient use of your time. Class is starting. Let's begin class. We'll continue from last time. Well... Uh, <clears throat> Mr. Ushimaru, please come to the faculty office at once. What's going on? What? I don't know what business this is. You better study on your own until I return. Thanks, Kawakami. Fucking pulling through. That voice. Hey, wasn't that Kawakami on the PA? There's no way that announcement was real. It must have been the signal. Hell yes, hell yes. What do you want to do? Uh, I mean, I think we, we read. We can just read another book. Um... Let's see, Shrines, Chinatown, or Walker. Let's do Shrines. Bible for Shrine Lovers. Wow. Meiji Shrine, huh? Seems like a mystical place. It's a famous spiritual spot, well known for its walking paths. Quiet places like that seem nice. I bet you'd really be able to relax if you took someone there with you. So, you finished reading Tokyo Shrines. Apparently the Meiji Shrine has its own train station. That's how popular that place is. I'm gonna get every location. Has a reputation as a power spot. And you can go on your own to the shrine. Ah. Waste of my time. God, they don't even know who called me out. Anyway, time to resume the lesson. Yep. Ew, that was close. Kawakami helped us get a good chunk of free time, though. Hey, why don't we try asking Futaba-chan to look into the culprit behind the psychotic breakdowns? That's a great idea. Why didn't I think of that? Hmm, I suppose Futaba's ability to process information is truly world class, after all. Damn, you're smart, Haru. I already tried. And? I know so much now, it's hard to make heads or tails of it. These suspicious people appear, then they disappear. It's been that, over and over again so they're manipulating information to keep anyone from reaching the truth. Well, there's one thing I know for sure. Whoever we're going against now is more dangerous than we can possibly imagine. Okay, no text messages. Interesting. I'm a little concerned we haven't gotten a Maruki, um, like, hangout sesh. 
Let's go to the laundromat. I don't know if Kawakami's working Saturday. Okay. I can only hire Kawakami at night. Okay. Come on. In that case, what if we go fishing? Let's try going fishing. I want to go fishing. Welcome. Are you a high schooler? You've got good taste in hobbies. Fishing will cost time to pass, but the points you gain from catching fish can be exchanged for prizes. Fish caught are scored on their size and species, reeling larger and rarer fish for more points. As your proficiency increases, the number of times you can fish per visit will increase uh, as well. If you want to fish, it'll be 3,000 yen. Oh, and I'll give you a nice discount if you come at night. What prizes do you have? Let me, let me take a look. Okay, so a bunch of bait and rods. Weakener spray. Uh, black rub, lure keychain, fortified moxie. Only Sachiko's belt, Hamataru, Ollie dance. One able to avoid any attack. Ooh, that's fun. Use a fishing pond. I want to try this mini game. Thank you. All right then. Here's the bait. Should be able to catch some small fish with these. Well then. Which bait are you gonna use? Uh, the only one I have. Okay, using the left stick, you can choose the direction you wish to cast. Press A to cast. Power gauge determines how far you cast. Press A at the right moment to drop your line directly in front of a fish. Once you cast your line, wait for the fish to take the bait. Um, okay. Um, let's, let's try this. Right. I guess I can only catch small fish, so... Press A when a fish bites to hook it. Move the bobber icon with left trigger into the red, or left stick into the red zone, and press A to reel it in. Rapidly press. If the bobber hits the gauge walls too often, the line will break. Let me, let me recast. There, right in front of the fish. A little too strong. Oh, this one's... Nice. Nice. Yeah, I got a rough carp and an achievement. Recall how to fish. That's very funny. I got a little fish in with the big fish right here. Oh, that was a really long cast. But that. Still really long. It feels like I'm not going that high on the power gauge. Okay. I really gotta do, like, halfway, huh? There we go. Mm -hmm. There we go. Give me that Tokyo Bitterling. fishing line. Come, small fish. Join! Join the ranks of the deceased! Asshole. Nice! Nice! What do you want to do? I'm just gonna use all this bait. Until I can get bait for for bigger fish. That's still really far. There we go. Much better. <laughs> nice. A red fish. What do you want to do? Okay, I'm 
I'm getting better. Yes. Nice. Hmm. Uh, okay, there's a small fish. A little too far on the cast, though. I can't believe they put a fishing minigame in this and just expected me to play the rest of the game and ignore the fishing minigame. Nice. They put fishing minigame and crossword in this game, and we're like, nice. no, you'll 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 play the, the game. There we go. Plop it right down in front of him. Oh. Nice. All right. Yes. Uh... Rough carp, huh? It's 15 centimeters in length. That's 40 points. Tokyo Bitterling, huh? It's 27 centimeters in length. That's 60 points. Tokyo Bitterling, huh? It's 24 centimeters in length. That's 60 points. Redfish, huh? It's 13 centimeters in length. That's 40 points. Tokyo Bitterling, huh? It's 16 centimeters in length. That's 40 points. Rough Carp, huh? It's 19 centimeters in length. That's 50 points. Tokyo Bitterling, huh? It's 24 centimeters in length. That's 60 points. Let's see how you and right now you've got 350 points. Since this is your first time here, I'll give you some medium-sized bait as a bonus. What do you want to do with the prizes? Get a casual rod. I mean, let's get more medium bait, yeah? Nice. Fucking, I, I love, I love that he goes through each Step fish. We're open both day and night, so feel free to stop by any time. That'll probably be a better use of my time than watching a DVD that won't give me any stats. Alright, um... <gasps> Akechi wants to hang out. Okay, let's get Kawakami on our laundry. And then, and then, we gotta go hang out with our boy. Uh, where's the... Where's the fucking laundromat again? Is it this? Yes, okay. Okay. Okay, um... So, Grifter's Garb, Spotted Fur, um, do the City Feather Coat. On the wash yet, as is. Call Kawakami to do it. Hi! Thanks for calling. Wait, Laundry, did you really have to call me just for that? I mean, that'll be 5,000 yen. Thanks, Kawakami. You're the best. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go on a date with my boyfriend now. <laughs> Alright, let's let's see who else is around. Oh, we'll get a catchy up, too. Um, Eli, Kifumi, God. My boyfriend and my girlfriend want to hang out with me at the same time. Let's, let's just follow his text. I don't have to find him. Do you have time today? I was thinking we could play another game of billiards. After all, losing doesn't sit well with either of us. Am I right? Thanks. Then I'll be waiting, Kichijoji. I guess I'll find some way to occupy myself in the meantime. Hey. Billiards is such a fascinating game, don't you think? You can't simply strike the ball you're aiming for. You have to be indirect, but precise to land it in the pocket. That's why it's so fun. Precisely. And the most interesting part is that it has so many parallels to a theoretical perfect crime. Also, you eliminate your target without ever directly connecting yourself to it. I don't suppose that rings any bells? psychotic breakdowns. That's right. Even the cases of criminals' hearts being changed, too. Everything happening around us, every little inconsequential event, 
may simply be one ball striking another. Hmm. But there's no guarantee that the ball can be precisely controlled. And despite the player's best intentions, the ball may strike many unrelated obstacles in its path. Even then, do you still intend to play this game? I made up my mind. Not bad. Impressive. You win. How about this? That was quite a heated match. Shall we cool off in the evening breeze for a moment? Hi, Ketchy. You want all the all Very day? Impressive. Even if it was with my self-imposed handicap, I'm impressed that you beat me. You've become quite skilled. Oh, that's right. I forgot he plays left-handed for no reason. Couldn't let myself lose. I see. So we even share that perspective, do we? We truly are fascinating. Remember when I said before that you and I are similar? We're both victims of unjust adults. And now, we have the will and power to rise up against them. Yet I'm doing so as a detective, and you're acting as a phantom thief. Our stances couldn't be more different. We're teammates now. For now, yes. But even that united front will soon end. And after that, everything will return to the way it was, no? Why not join me instead? All you'd have to do is abandon the teammates you have now. Ketchy's eyes are deadly serious. I need to give him a real answer. How about this? How about it? <sighs> so the thing is, I don't know if this is the, like, do you want to date a Ketchy thing that the mod added, or if this is a normal thing that happens in the course of the game. So I'm just going to look up to see if it's a normal thing that happens in the course of the game. Uh, Akechi Confidant, Persona 5 Royal, because that will change how I answer. Um, Okay, this this is a normal question in, in the in the course of the game. So that's that said, that's good. I just I don't wanna like have this lock me out of romance. <laughs> um you're my rival. <laughs> you truly are intriguing. I agree. I think a relationship of equals suits us better than being co conspirators anyway. No matter what else may change. Listen, we have this whole rivals to lovers thing going on, and I don't want to jeopardize that fight if anything my teammates. In any case, what you just said carries great weight. Great weight. Remember what you decided, and don't run from it. Alright? That said, as long as we're working together, you'll have my strength. Leave it to me. Rest assured, I'll do my part. You'll find me very useful indeed. La justice. All right. Ah, that reminds me. I did say that if you ever beat me using my right hand, I'd face you with all my ability. All right, he's playing right-handed because he's left-handed. I'd face you with all my ability. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Good night, then. Well then, farewell for now. Oh, I just want to kiss him. Hey, it's me. Is it alright if we chat for a bit? You never cease to amaze me. It wasn't against my dominant hand, of course, but I still can't believe you beat me. Your competitive spirit definitely deserves praise. You really were terrible at first, but you caught up to me in no time. I have to ask... Why do you get so competitive against me? We're rivals, aren't we? Oh, he loves that! He loves that we're rivals! 
Yes, that's right. Neither of us can afford to lose because we fight in service of our principles. And that is precisely why I cannot allow you to change. As you are now, as you think now, I cannot allow you to win over me. Well, perhaps that's a bit much. I'll let you go for now. Good night. Hi, thanks for doing my laundry. Divine black tights, two old vests, and a shocking scarf. Bye. Hey. Well then. Okay, we got home shopping program. Let me real quick, let's look at our new equipment. So Morgana has the Nekamata coat which gives him high evade Psy. This is reduce elect damage, which is pretty good. He's not weak to Psy, so... So give him a Shocking Scarf. Um... Luck plus five or strength plus one. I mean, we keep him with the luck plus five because he's got the, uh, the insta-kills. I think we give Ryuji. Um... The old vest. Oh my god, yeah, that's immensely better. And it gives him one more strength because he's a physical attacker. And then let's take a look at the Divine Black Tights. Endurance plus six is pretty good. Right, I lose the plus 30 HP, but Endurance plus six is really good. Uh. Probably give Yusuke an old vest as well. Okay. Now. Who is hangoutable? We're max with Takemi. Uh don't. Go to the shrine. No, oh, I meant to look at what is in Jinbocha, but I guess I'm in Jinbocha. Whoa, this line of bookstores makes for a grand sight. So this is Jinbocha, the town of books. Uh, well then, let's go in the store. I guess I'm going to Jinbocha. Welcome. Oh, you're pretty young compared to most of our customers. Our bookstore caters to experts, so the books here might be a tad difficult for most high schoolers. Well, I'll sell you the easiest book that we've got. Go ahead and take your time with it. Welcome. Master Swordsman. I mean, it's a Guts book, so I don't need it, but I'll buy it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess that didn't take any time. to leave in order to look at my other stuff. Let's go to Shibuya. So the thing I wanted to look at was requests. So if we don't have any, then I don't super want to go to Mementos. Um, even though I do want to like level up, but if no one wants to hang out, then maybe we go to the shrine and just see what it does? It's kind of calming to see such an imposing building. Okay, praying at the shrine will strengthen the bond you have with one of your confidants. A large donation will increase the chance of your wish being granted. Cannot even deep You can even deepen bonds with confidants who you cannot meet on that day. What do you want to do? Yeah, let's do that. Hey, hey. Do a large oh. donation. Let's see. Okay, yeah, all the ones that are blacked out are the ones that I'm I'm at max rank with. Huh, I think we think about I 
I'm stuck between Sojiro and Akechi. Because Akechi would make it so our next hangout would likely get us up to 8, which is nice. But, like, I haven't hung out with Sojiro mostly because it's he's taken more sessions to get up. But I don't know about it. Let's, let's think about Akechi. Oh, yeah. Do you know how to pray? Pretty sure you bow twice, clap twice, then bow once. I can see Akechi's face clearly in my mind. I feel like our bond has grown deeper. Oh, it's just one? Hey. It's just one? <laughs> hey, who is your prayer about? Uh, maybe I shouldn't ask. It won't work if you tell someone. Anyway, let's head home. That's kind of lame that it's just one. I mean, maybe it's a random amount. But I know what the shrine does now, so... Oh, I should, yeah, watch the home shopping program. Sturdy ointment set. Inner muscle set. Let's get the inner muscle set. Hey, hey. I haven't seen those items before, so... May as well pick them up. Well. Cool. Alright, who is texting me? A request from Chihaya. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think we hang out with Chihaya. Rosan. Honestly, I still believe in the existence of fate. I mean, the fortunes I see have an extremely high accuracy rate. But I suppose my divine power isn't completely absolute, huh? Do you want to test it again? Well, of course, but I'm sure that would only end in disappointment. You know, I've wondered in the past whether fate really can be changed. But I always concluded that it was something beyond our control. Almost like the laws of nature. Eternal. Impossible to defy. And yet, there exist people like you who can ignore those laws and impose their own will upon the world. Um... How can I become one of those people, Rosan? Trust in yourself. What? Trust in myself? Instead of my fortune-telling? I've never thought of it that way before. This city keeps finding ways to subvert my expectations. There was nobody like you back in my hometown in the country, Rosan. It was a small, traditional town deep in the mountains, populated almost entirely by older people. It sounds so peaceful. During the winter, it's practically inaccessible due to all the snow. That alone should tell you volumes. The youth there are forced to be strictly obedient to their elders as well. Not explicitly, of course. Oh, and there's a small shrine in the center of the village. There, I... It doesn't matter anymore. I left that place to come to the city. It means nothing to me now. After I arrived in Tokyo, I found comfort in this stone. It came from someone who dared to care about me, even though I'm just a monster with strange powers. That's why I sell holy stones. I want to help those who suffer from inescapable fates similar to my own. However... But... Now I wonder if they really do much of anything. After all, you managed to change the destinies of my clients without one. Is it truly possible to alter fate with nothing more than mere words, attitude, and passion? If that's the case, I won't be needing this. I'm going to confront fate head-on, with my own strength. Although... Chairman would be really mad if he found out. Chairman? Oh, um... Oh, don't worry about that. Just forget about it. Unless you want to suffer my curse, that is. Anyway, if fate can be changed, maybe even mine can be corrected, right? Didn't work for me before, but 
Perhaps this time. I think it'll work. But right. <laughs> I look forward to our continued exchange. At least, until I can manage to change my fate. Oh, and I'll be sure to put some extra effort into my fortune telling for you. This guy's worked before? Yeah. La Rue de Fortune. All right. I'm so good at pronouncing French. Thank you for today, Rosan. Until next time. Good night. I want to dig through the trash and pick up her little rock. Um, I'm calling because I wanted to thank you once again for earlier. Thank you so much for today. To be honest, I'm still feeling a bit lost. But talking to you about everything is helping me feel a little better. I'm glad to hear that. I'm learning so much from you, Rosan. I can't thank you enough. Thanks to you, I can finally see the truth. I can only hope my fortune telling is enough to pay you back somehow. Rosan, I'll be putting in a lot of work from now on. Even though I can't even imagine changing my own fate. But I will figure out some way to make it happen. I hope I can count on you to help me through the process. Until next time. Maybe I should have asked her more about her home. I'm really worried that I haven't gotten an opportunity to hang out with Maruki. I'm gonna- because I know some of them are locked by date. Because we're at 9 with him. I'm gonna check and just see if- if- because I really don't want it to- Uh... Okay, never mind. We're good. Uh, you have to complete, uh, allegedly, according to my brief cursory, uh, non-spoiler glance, um, you have to complete rank 9 by a certain time, but you're not locked out of, uh, rank 10. So I think we're good there. Let me just double check that we are, in fact, at rank 9 with him. We are. Cool. So we're all set on that front. Uh, in fact, we've been going for a little over an hour. Let's take a quick break. Uh, quick bio break. We'll come back. We will do uh, some more prep for Sinejima's Palace. So stick around, grab a drink, grab a snack. I will see you in five minutes. Bye, everyone.
Hi everyone, welcome back. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, we got some folks to hang out with. Um, I'm just gonna check my confidant rank with Shinya real quick. Five helmet inflicting gunshot. That's definitely something. Yeah, I think we hang out with Shinya, just because we don't really have many other options. I don't want to, like, work. Um, that's just Haru, Takemi, Shinya. I was not going to go up with Shinya either. Maybe, here, what we'll do is we will go to the Velvet Room. Let's see if we can't get our hands on the Tower Persona. So that we'll get Shinya's rank up faster. And I might put a How fair is your progress in our game? A persona in solitary. I'll take care of them. Make a choice, inmate. Oh, uh, we have uh Emmy's Nagi Picaro. Um So let's put him in, and I think we still get, um, I'll, I'll look this up just to be sure, but I think we still get the bonus to, uh, confidence. Um, lockdown. Uh, it will provide bonuses to competent rank ups just as it would if it were not. Yeah, awesome. So that's good. We'll do that. Gonna switch to a different incense. Uh, evergreen magic is still burning. Which incense are you gonna light? Uh, I mean, we'll we do strength. We do Nirvana strength. That's pretty good. to increase bloodbath. We could do a Nirvana magic. Let's do Nirvana I'll strength. Put this in there with them. Oh, I'll take good care of you. Okay. Well, are you finished? What? Uh, yep. Go Your back. Time, inmate. And we will hang out with Shinta. Got a phantom feet. Oh yeah, same thing. Train. Oh, Study no. under him. Pew pew pew. Shinya is silently playing. Okay, cool. So next time we hang out with him, we'll get up to uh, the next rank. Sick. And I have my backup save, so if we whiff this training. Let me let me see what these do. Salvation S and Hustle S. Increases attack, defense, attack, or evasion. Increases crit for one ally. Okay. That's solid. Who is around tonight? We've got a catchy. Oh my god, we can hang out with a catchy again. Oh yeah. Sojiro. Ifumi. I mean, we hang out with a catchy again, right? Like, that's the play? We we just we just get up to rank eight with my boyfriend. Are you free right now? 
I think we should talk. It's time we establish something important. Yes, Akechi? Oh, we're establishing something important between us, huh? Good evening. Good evening, Nona. I've been waiting for you. Hey. Do you have time? I want to talk to you about something. It'd be best if we went somewhere where there aren't many people around. How about, let's say, Mementos? Nobody can get in our way there. Ah. I feel like my bond with Akechi is about to get stronger, but... He wants the two of you to go to Mementos alone? Well, you guys are strong enough for that. Strong enough that you should be fine, but be ready for anything, I guess. Thank you. Then let's head to Shibuya. Akechi just wants to go with you, right? Then I'll be waiting outside. Be careful. Well, this place should do nicely. What do you want to discuss? This. Listen, I'll say it. That's hot. Remember what I told you? If you ever won against me using my right hand, I'd take you on with everything I've got. You wanna fight? Exactly. Your insight allowing you to determine my dominant hand, your quick wit, and most of all, how fast you've grown. You've exceeded my expectations in every way. Thus, I've built up this urge to duel you without holding anything back. This is so erotic. This is so erotically charged. Let's do this. Thank you for indulging my selfish request. No need for pleasantries at this point, correct? Let's go! Be able to defeat me unless you actually fight with lethal intent. Now, show me your true skills. Persona! Hold on. Uh, why don't I remember what he's weak to? Come. Let's just try Fizz. Rude. Let's go. Um. All right. Okay, block Don't status. Presumably, these aren't his his normal stats. Persona. Uh, I mean, fuck it. Let's mine. just let's just try again. Persona. Okay. Fizz is not doing much. Persona. Let's heal myself back up, just to be safe. Persona. Don't crit me. That's rude. Come. Hey, bud. I was hoping I could get a burn on him. All right. That dizzy you? Oh no, they're right. That's right, we can't be status. Dummy. Let's go. Go down. See what else. Um, 
I think Miracle Punch is probably solid. I have Evade Fit, or I don't have Evade Fit yet, but I have Counter. Yeah, let's, let's bring it up. Ariadne pick her up. Super crit him. No. Oh, now I need to swap back, because... My health. Can you take this? Persona. Ariadne Picaro. Get counter. Nice. How fascinating. Can you take this? Okay, he's using Almighty now. Boy, I would love that crit. So you're fast? Oh, not bad. Persona! Why did he say oh like that? Why did he say it like that? I really thought this was gonna be harder. I'm I'm glad it isn't. Because I was not prepared for it, but <laughs> this was not expected. Oh, are we done? Was that the fight? No wonder you're the leader of the Phantom Thieves. You've caught up to me on this front already, too. Do you want to keep going? I'd better not. If we went any further, we'd both go beyond the point of no return, wouldn't we? I would love to fight you to the death, but we both probably shouldn't die. In all honesty, I'd love to see just how far we can go. This is so erotically charged! Oh my god. mission coming up. Until that's finished, you're a vital ally to me. You're done here. Let's go. That was so sexual. <laughs> Once again, I've learned something new about you today. As allies fighting alongside one another, your strength is truly reassuring. In all honesty, it's to the point that I'd be relying on you in a pinch. Feelings mutual. <laughs> you truly are well composed. I'm sorry I asked you to indulge me, but I do feel a bit better now. La justice. All right. By the way, about that duel. If we had fought to the end, do you see yourself winning? I definitely wouldn't lose. I had a feeling you'd say that. I'm going to be entirely honest with you. I hate you. Oh, God. This is so good. Oh, man. They're gonna fuck at the end of the... <laughs> they're, it's, they're gonna... It's... Your deft handling of your unfortunate circumstances. Your uniqueness. Your ability to surpass me. All these irritate me. You're the one person I refuse to lose to. Same here. You really are. No, never mind. I'll let you have this win today. But next time I will be victorious. Let this be my proof. Oh! 
He's thrown down the gauntlet. Is a tradition in the West to throw one's glove at their opponent when demanding a duel. Should the opponent accept the glove, the duel is also accepted. Accept. Make certain that you never forget. I am the one who will defeat you. Oh my god. This is... If y'all seen the music video for Genghis Khan, this is that. This is that. <sighs> Look at the time. Let's call it a day. For now. And I'll get a little bit Genghis Khan. Don't want you to get it on with nobody else but me. But nobody else but me. Grab your notes. Last time we were talking about how court trials work. Today we'll be learning about... What? You're asking if the Phantom Thieves would be given a trial if they get caught? Of course they would. All they would need to do is prove a link between the deaths and their activities. In short, they would be put on trial for murder. Hey, Rogue. You know it, right? Tell me how old you have to be to listen in on a trial. Any age. Exactly. That's right. No age restrictions for listening in on a trial. You can get in whether you're 0 or 85. Youth crimes are an exception, but it's basically open to the public, meaning you can all go attend. Well, I imagine the visitor seats will be full if the Phantom Thieves were put to trial. Everyone is dying to know who exactly the culprits are and how they did it. Nice going. I'm so smart. I get knowledge even when I don't need it. However, their method and how it connects to the murder must be proven in order to sentence them. The methods that the Phantom Thieves use far exceed human knowledge. I'd imagine in order to prove it, they'd have to catch them in the act. Hmm. Oh boy, I sure hope that doesn't happen at the end of this dungeon. Hey. Okay. Haru. Takemi. And that's it. Um. Hmm. About. We, are we locked out of this? Is that what the gray card means? It just means we haven't started it. Hey. Yes. Okay, yeah, no, she won't hang out with me. Uh, in that case, I mean, I know what I'm gonna do. Welcome. Thanks for your continued patronage. Thank you. He's our media fave. I went too far. There we go. Much better. Nice. Nice. Treasure trap. so many frickin' fishies. I think that might be a large one, actually. Let's get this medium one over here. Fishy, fishy, fishy. 
fishy, fishy, fishy. Nice. Hey. What do you want to do? I love, I love that they just put a fishing mini game in this, and they're like, yeah, it'll be fine. They won't spend all their time on the fishing mini game and not on the story. We'll do this like real low. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Nice. White car. Just gonna use all my medium bait. Getting better at aiming, at least. Oh. Nice. Seven color trout. Um, that's me about there. Yes. Nice. That's yes. treasure trout. Uh, let's see how you did. Twenty three hundred points. All right, well, let's start with, um, get a casual rod, and then we'll get some large bait for next time. Uh, yeah, we'll leave that. I love that they put a fishing game. Hi! Welcome. Sorry, I was so focused on fishing. Uh, it's going well. I'm excited. I, I'm I'm loving that they put so many mini games in this so that I can't ignore the main thing of like trying to save the world or whatever. Uh, okay, Chihaya wants to hang out. That could be useful. We're gonna get... Okay, yeah, we, we'll get a next rank with her. EY wants to hang out. I don't know how useful that'll be. And we won't get him rank up this time, so I think we hang out with Chihaya. Because I think then she gives us... Yeah, I mean, like, what what's even the point of doing all the other stuff when I could uh, be doing crosswords and fishing? I have a lot to show you today. Here we go. Look, mental training for sports. Oh, and building a successful business from the ground up. I even have a book about the secret to being a good listener. It was written by a hostess from a club in Ginza. Just picking out which books to bring took me half a day. I have tons more back home, though. I've started using these as reference materials for the advice I give to my clients. This way, I can suggest new alternatives instead of leaving them resigned to their fate. Fuck yeah! All right, Chihaya, you're starting to be less of a hack fortune teller. <laughs> yeah, it's like, why would I go and, like, send a calling card for our next target who's, like, going to send us to prison when I could, like, teach this fortune teller how to provide self-help advice? <laughs> Such a hard worker. <laughs> of course. After all, I need to be able to advise my clients on their future selves. Anyway, what I really want to tell you is that I've, revi I've arrived at a new fortune-telling philosophy. Those with strong convictions can, in fact, change fate. Uh, oh, and as for the people I sold holy stones to, I've started reading their fortunes free of charge. I'd like to return the money they gave me, too, but, um... Do you spend it all? Well, um, am I interrupting? What? Yokoda-san. It's been a while, maiden. Or my maiden? Is that her name, or is he calling her a maiden? Maybe it's my no, because her name is Chihaya, unless it's her surname. I don't know. Uh, um, what are you doing here? The chairman asked that I come see how things are going. Hmm? I mean, who are you? Um, 
that's my apprentice. I haven't actually introduced her to the chairman yet. You're telling me you're so busy you needed to hire an apprentice. Oh, um... Yes, she's been a wonderful help. I see. I guess I should have expected, expected such great foresight from you. My den? Now then, I should be going. Thank you for stopping by. <sighs> I'm sorry you had to see that. Maiden? Okay, it is Maiden. It, Maiden is her nickname. That's, well, a nickname of sorts. A anyway, it's a private matter, Grosan. Nothing you should concern yourself with. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I'm sure that like she's funneling her profits to whatever chairman this is because she's being blackmailed or something. There has to be some corrupt adult doing this because that's, <laughs> it was very strange of me. I apologize. Wait, are you perhaps worried about me? Thank you. Oh, I'm so touched, honestly. My luck really improves when you're around, Rosan. <laughs> I know. In return for that, I'll predict your luck whenever you want. La Rose de Fortune. All right. Okay, so now I can, if I want to, I can come to her and have her increase my confidant, uh, my bond with a confidant. Which will probably be better than the, the shrine. My, it's already so late. I should close up for today. Goodbye. Good night, Rosan. The lower house disbanded. It was an internal split. Masayoshi Shido. He's the only one. Whoa! He's the only one that can stand up for what's right. The only one who will make good on his word. That's the kind of person we need leading this nation. Especially in times like these. Shido leads the United Future movement, right? He was right. If we'd taken the fan of these seriously from the start, they'd be behind bars by now. Which will come first, do you think? Regime change or the apprehension of the Phantom Thieves? Shido. Shido. Including the day we gotta carry out the plan, there's only 11 days left. Time is really slipping away. What will happen to us if we fail? We won't fail. It's kinda tough to say that for sure, though. Maybe, but we can't lose heart before we've even done anything. If we do that, we'll just mess everything up, even the parts we can definitely succeed in. Hmm, you actually said something wise for once. You wanna fight? You two get along so well. Uh, how so? That is an outrageous claim. That's what I should be saying. Come on, stop it. Let's try to keep tensions low. We're all feeling anxious. Even you, Makoto? Yes. It can't really be helped this time. That's not how I raised you. Get a hold of yourself, Ryuji! Why are you singling me out? <laughs> Our lives will be over! Should send the calling card soon. Oh, but that's hard. Okay, no one wants to hang out. Uh, I could go to Chihaya and ask her to to increase my confidant. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Hey, Chihaya. Um... What shall we do? Uh... Let's do an affinity reading. What am I doing? 
affinity reading with her. Um. Let's do catchy. Because we just hit rank 9. I want to hit rank 10. Okay, here I go. Hmm. 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 Your feelings should have reached the other person. Hmm. I bet you can deepen your friendship even further now. Well, that's all for today. I hope it was helpful. What do you think? Cool. Wait, that doesn't take up time? Holy shit! That's fantastic! Oh my god, well, um... Damn it, I wanted to read, but I guess I'm not allowed. Hi, Futaba. You don't want to hang out. Uh, you know what? Let's go to Mementos. Oh, yeah. All we got to do now is send the calling card. Yeah, sorry, Ryuji. We're not going to do that. Earlier the better, right? No. In my opinion, we should wait until right before the time limit. May I ask your reasoning behind that idea? Sai-san is a realist. Even if she believes the Phantom Thieves exist, do you think she knows how they steal hearts? Furthermore, there is a chance she expects that she herself will be targeted. So because her heart is ready for any possibility, the calling card might not have enough effect? I only say that theoretically, but I believe so. Hence, it would be prudent for us to wait until we are driven into a corner to act. If we do so with no time to spare, I assume even Saison would have to be somewhat agitated. Hmm. Ensuring the treasure actually appears. That sounds quite logical. Impressive, Akechi-kun. Though, it is a bit vexing that you know more about my sister than I do. Interesting. <laughs> Oh, that's only because of my work as a detective. I wonder if it won't let me send it this early. Well then, if our time limit is November 20th, and we act the day after sending the calling card, shall we send it out on the 18th? We should prepare as much as we can before then. Well, I can't complain about having more time. Make sure you're ready, everyone. Let's go to Mementos. Yes. Let us go. And my plan in Mementos is maybe we trigger a fusion alarm. Uh, in which case we'll get better results on our incense. But also I'm ready. Let's go. We can get um, materials for the Infinipic. So we can work on that. That said. I think I'm going to end it here for today, because we've done a lot. So let me get a quick save in. we got our number two slot is still a safety save right after we secure the treasure route. So that's that's looking solid. We've officially played 100 hours of this game. So thanks, everyone, for coming and swinging by. Let's see if there's anyone to raid. Not really. Okay, so I think we'll just end it there. But thank you, everyone, for coming. I will see you... Uh, if you want to watch more Persona on Friday at 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time, I will be streaming more Persona. Also, new, fun uh, stream. I've been learning how to play Richie Mahjong. So on Wednesday, I'm going to play some Richie Mahjong, and we'll, we'll learn more Yaku together. So if you're interested in that, Wednesday at 1 Eastern, I will be, will be live uh, with Mahjong. So thank you, everyone, for uh, coming and swinging by. I will see you all next time.